Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now if you're like me and you use your Fire Stick TV daily, you'll know there comes a time when your Fire Stick TV starts playing up. And by that I mean video playback starts stuttering, lagging, and you're basically your Fire Stick TV starts blowing down. So in this video, I'm going to reverse that process and get your Fire Stick TV running like it was brand new. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So there's a few things we can do. And the first one of these is to make sure that there's no unnecessary processes running in the background on your Fire Stick TV. And to do this, we head on over to our settings menu, roll down to preferences, and then scroll down to privacy settings. And from here we need to make sure that all these settings are set to the off position. And the first one of these is device usage data. This is where Amazon collects data for marketing purposes. So we don't really need this on. And the next one is collect app usage data. So this is where Amazon collects statistics about your usage of certain apps. So we don't really need this on, we click it off. And the next one is interest based ads. So this is where Amazon monitors what you're watching and then sends you relevant ads. Now if we go back up one menu, we can see below that we've got data monitoring. Click on that and you can see that this is where it monitors consumption of your data on your Amazon Fire TV. So there's no reason why we need this on as it's no benefit to us. And it's just another process that adds to the total number of processes running on your Amazon Fire Stick, which can slow down the Fire Stick. So make sure this is off. Now the other thing we can do to free up some resources is to stop those trailers running on your home screen. You know the ones, if you scroll up to the top, it'll stop playing a trailer. And this is quite simple to do, just head on back to your settings, go down to preferences, and then scroll down to featured content. And basically switch both of these on, allow video auto playback and allow audio auto playback. Now a lot of problems can be prevented by simply updating your Fire Stick TV software when a new version comes out. Now a lot of people don't do this or simply don't know how to do this because the Fire Stick TV actually doesn't always update to the latest version by itself. And a lot of my problems were solved when I actually updated to the latest version of the software. So to do this, simply head on down to your settings, click on My Fire TV, click on About and then scroll down to Check for Updates. And if there is an update, it'll start downloading it and then update automatically and it will reboot in the process. And the whole process can take anything up to 5 or 6 minutes. Now another way to clean up your Fire Stick TV is to use some apps. And there's a couple I use on a regular basis, so to use them let's go and install them first. So on your Fire Stick go into Find and search for D E F S Q U I D and that is Def Squid. Press Enter and it should be the first one that pops up. So let's take a quick look at the screenshots and we can see there's loads of functions available. But the main function we're going to be looking at here is managing the apps and that's seen here. So let's just click on get and download it. Okay now that we've downloaded it let's go and open it up and here you can see that we've got all the apps that are open. Now you would think that these apps would stop running once you'd close them down in the Fire Stick but obviously that is not the case and what you'll find is that even if you reboot and restart the Fire Stick these apps will still be running when you check in this app. As you can see they're all running and they're consuming resources on the Fire Stick. So what we can basically do with this app is that we can force stop them all. And you do that by just going down and across, click on the force stop on the app you want to stop. And it'll take you across to the permissions and go down from there and click on force stop. And click back on the remote button, it takes you back to the app. And there now you can see that it stopped the app. So if I just go down the list and stop all the apps that I want to stop, click on force stop, scroll down, force stop, come back, and that stopped. Next one, force stop go down and we can force stop there and come back. So that's force stopped all those apps and that stopped them using resources of the Fire Stick. Now you might be thinking you can do this manually by going into manage applications and force stop them there. But in there it doesn't actually show you if the apps are currently running so you could be wasting your time. The other app I also like to use to manage my open apps on my Fire Stick TV is also found on the Amazon Fire Store. So if we go to find, press enter, and type the following BAC back around. And you should see it's the second one down background apps and process lists. If we select that, and it should pop up. So if we select it to install, it's a quick install, it's a small file. Click on open, 
And here it gives you the option to open the background app when you boot up the Fire Stick TV. Now I don't really want this happening, so I'm going to leave that out. So scroll down and I'm going to click on Got It. And that's it, we're into the app. OK, so here in this app, it's a similar setup to DevSquid. We can see all the apps that are open at the moment in the background. And the cool thing here is we can close each individual app by selecting it. And it takes us to the four stop screen. Now, we can also do a cool little thing here where we can actually say close multiple and we just select individual apps and then play it across to close selected apps. And it'll take you to the individual screen of each app and you can close them from there. So scroll down, full stop, and then go back. And then again, it'll take us to the next one, full stop, go back, and it'll take us to the main screen where we can see that there's no more apps running. And we can also click on refresh just to double check and you can see no apps running. So guys, both of these apps have their pluses and minuses. I prefer the first app, DevSquid, as it seems to be a bit more user friendly, but they both do a great job of doing what they do, which is closing down background apps. Now, the other thing you can do to speed up your Amazon Fire Stick is to stop notifications from apps. Now, this might sound like a little thing, but believe me, it does take up quite a few resources. So again, head on over to your settings cog, and from here, scroll down to Preferences. And then from here, scroll down to Notification Settings. And you can set it to Do Not Interrupt, to hide all your application notifications. Or you can actually do individual application notifications, just in case you need some notifications from certain applications. So I do DevSquid, that turns it off. Download it, turns that off. Or if I go back up, Do Not Interrupt on, you're going to get everything. As you can see, it says Do Not Interrupt is on. I'll leave that off. Now, if you are just experiencing lagginess in certain apps, there is a solution to that. So we just head into settings, click on applications, and scroll down to manage installed apps. And from here, you can see we've got all our apps listed. So if we go to AppToy TV, click on that. And if we scroll down, you'll see there is clear cache. So if we select that, so cache is basically stored memory files for the app. And these can on certain times get corrupted and this can cause bugginess in the app. So if we clear those files, sometimes you can fix the lag and the app starts working again. So I'm going to click on clear cache and that's done. And hopefully your app will start working without the lagginess. Now, if none of the solutions I've given you so far works, there is one last option. And to do that, we're going to head back into our settings menu, scroll down to My Fire TV, and yes, we're going to go down to Reset to Factory Defaults. And to be honest, this definitely helped me out one time where I tried everything and nothing seemed to work. And just by doing this, everything started to work again. I of course had to install all my apps, but that is the last resort, guys. And the great thing about this is it will definitely work. Because if you've got lots of files on your Fire Stick and some files have been uninstalled and some are still there, it can create quite a mess and the Fire Stick can struggle to keep up. OK, guys, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please do consider subscribing for more content like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.